Remember that we apply the substitution technique anytime we have inside an integral the composition between two functions but also the derivative of the inside function. Remember that most of the time you're not going to have the full derivative of g but you could obtain the derivative of g by simply multiplying what you have inside by a constant. By applying the substitution technique what we do is we rewrite our integrals in terms of a new variable that we will call u. In substitution we will call u to the inside function. So in the integral above u will be g of x. After applying the substitution technique the new integral that you will obtain can be solved by direct integration which means that you'll be able to use the formulas in your log tables. To understand how substitution works we are going to solve the first integral that appeared in the previous video. In this case we have the integral of x squared plus 1 to the 3 by x dx. In the previous video we saw that in this case the inside function is x squared plus 1 as it is inside x to the 3. And then we also saw that we have x multiplying which is almost the derivative of g, as the derivative of g will be 2x. In order to apply substitution, what we are going to do is, we are going to call u to the inside function. So u is, in this case, x squared plus 1. Then, if you just do that, and you put that back into the original integral, we will have u to the 3, as now x squared plus 1, is u by x dx. So have a look at this. If you remember when we introduced integration we said that dx indicates the variable of integration and obviously in this case we are going to have a new variable of integration that is called u. Therefore this dx has to turn into a du. So after picking the right u what we have to do in order to find dx in terms of du is to differentiate u so we get du dx. In this case du dx is just 2x. And now as what we want is to replace dx by something with du we need to get dx in this equation by itself. Therefore, we will start by cross-multiplying, so we get du is equal to 2x dx. And then, as we want dx by itself, we will divide both sides by 2x. So we get dx is equal to du over 2x. Now we have all we need in order to apply substitution. We have our u, but also we have dx in terms of du. Going back to the integral we had, the integral of x squared plus 1 to the 3 by x dx, we can now replace x squared plus 1 by u, but we can also replace dx by du over 2x. So we have u to the 3 by x by du over 2x. If substitution is the right technique to apply, at this stage all your x's should cancel, as it happens here. Therefore, we are left with the integral of u to the 3 by du over 2. Note that du over 2 is exactly the same as writing a half by du. Therefore, we can take a half outside of the integral as a constant multiplying. So we have a half by the integral of u to the 3 du. Now this integral here can be done by direct integration, as it's only the integral of a power. So we have a half by the integral of u to the 3 is simply u to the 4 over 4 plus 
constant of integration. By multiplying these two fractions, we get u to the 4 over 8 plus c. And then one thing that you have to remember when you're doing substitution is to bring your x back. So as we know that u is equal to x squared plus 1, we can actually write our answer as x squared plus 1 to the 4 over 8 plus C.